Uh, let's just change this for speed now. And as much as we need to get there fairly quickly. Golf Alpha X-ray Romeo Tango. Golf Radio Tango, this is Clacton Radio. Uh, Golf Romeo Tango, uh, reading your strength three, Cessna 150, just flying uh, along the coastline, inbound to you. Can you advise on my news, please? We're currently using runway three six left hand and we have a QFE of one zero zero six. One zero zero six uh three six left hand go uh Romeo Tango. <laughs> Well, the Yankee Aircraft Hotel is the Joe Dell inbound to you from Mayland Prison Me downwind left hand three six. Uh, Golf Echo Hotel, uh, Roger, uh, 36 and the QFE 1006. 1006, Golf Echo Hotel. Golf from the Tango is joining dead side. This is going to work, but uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Don't rush yourself. Yeah. 
There was a rabbit down there, I don't know if you saw it, a rabbit, I don't think it was a hare. That bloody thing was half the size of a cow. <laughs> you think we got a problem? Yeah. Okay. Everything alright with you? I think so. Oh, I think we just found a rabbit hole. Yeah. I imagine it would be Yeah. Right, and ready, I go for the Yankee Echo Hotel. Uh, Golf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel is uh, just coming out of maintenance and lining up at 36 for immediate departure and return to Nyland. Okay. Bumpy? It always is this place. Always was. What we mills? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what was your two hundredth flight like? You, uh, s you say it's a, a reasonably easy machine to fly? Yeah, in the air, you don't know any difference, do you? Uh, it's a little bit quicker than a nose wheel. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, there's no difference, is there, really? Uh, you can't tell where the wheel is when you're in it. Uh, and you say that, you know, basically it's three point off and three point back on. Yeah, you, you can't, um, you can't lift the tail, really. It's three point take off, three point landing. Yeah. But it's an absolute doddle. Yeah. So of your 200th that you had, what would you have said, uh, and I know that there's going to be lots of different answers because there'll be lots of different machines, but what would you say was your best? I don't know, it depends what you're going for. I mean, if, if you're talking in terms of best um, with regard to, uh, how can I put it, having an aura about it, Yep. So I would have said the printers. Yep. First of all, printers, because just its sheer size was impressive. I mean, it flew like a dog, but, you know, it was an impressive bit of kit. On the other hand, um, the sweetest handling, obviously, is the RV4. Yep. There's been a few nice ones and a few dogs in between, but... Yeah. So if that was, you know, if that was the answer to the best, what would you say the answer to the worst was? Um, trying to think. There was one aeroplane that I did a circuit in and got out and cr kissed the ground. <laughs> that was the Mong Sport. Okay. Tiny, tiny, sort of half size bits. Yeah. And I was far too big for it and I, I got cramped in my legs. I couldn't use the rudder pedals because my legs were fully cramped where I was sort of tucked in there. And I, I did one circuit and got out of it and thought, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I think that the worst actual handling, in terms of worst handling, without any shadow of doubt, would have to be the um, Farmer Jensen flying boat. Because it had the big floats on the wingtips. Okay, yeah. And you sort of put full rudder and daler in it, read the newspaper, <laughs> and then, <laughs> you know, find that you're doing a bit of a turn. Put the newspaper down. Yeah. Uh, ooh. I could just turn that camera and see whether it picks up but it doesn't like shooting into the sun but that pattern with oh, the water yeah but I know you need to get back so no, it's I won't not, not oh, yeah. drastic I hopefully he gets his uh, permit for his aircraft quickly now because we dotted every I and crossed every T yeah there's about 28 pages and I was filling them in yeah and he was proofreading okay um, yeah. and uh I think we got it right first time, I hope so. And I'm, then I'm hoping I can do the same with the sports crew. Yeah, have you... Get that done for it. Yeah, is, the, uh, is that work pack pending? I mean... Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm hoping it'll be there when I get home today. Okay, yeah.
So what, had Kieran said for that or did you have to set for it? No, I just sent for it. Yeah. Danny was right, one thing about that Cessna, it's got a bloody good heater. Yeah. Hang on, are you cold? No, no, not at all, but I'm just saying this. I gave Eric a surprise when we came back from Monument. Because he said he was cold, so uh, doesn't do too bad. Hey, it's Major Jordan. <laughs> Supposed to have yeah, one, two, three, four. There was a couple more over there earlier. I could just step out. Yep, I could see the strip. Yeah, uh, well, no, I'm not sure. Just I'm below the horizon, there's a sort of green yeah, wedge. Yeah, I think I can see it, but I wouldn't swear to it at this point. Amazing how quickly it gets dark and it yeah. that sun, sun starts dipping on the horizon. That's one of the reasons why I've sort of kept the coals on a little bit. Yeah. At least it's dipping down there and not sometimes when it in the summer where it's yeah, up there. Yeah, near eyes, Because that, I know it's going to disappear early because of that cloud. Yeah. But that's going to, that's yeah. going to be gone in a minute or so. Yeah. Well, I'm just thinking I'll go straight in. Yeah. As whiz comes out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's alright, it'll go over the top, yeah. Yeah. It's okay, old girl, you can get your breath back now. I'll tell you what, this is one, comparing this engine to that engine, Yeah. no comparison. Right. This is like chalk and cheese to what that was. Right. I think I would like at some stage when we've got a bit of time just to play around with that um, airspeed indicator. Yeah. Because we are still, we're still over reading. Well, we're over reading at the top end, put it that way. <laughs> I, on Sunday morning, I turned around and I thought, oh blimey, I'm high. And I put the air brake down and I was <laughs> from here. I would have gone into the river because <laughs> that wind was so strong. Yeah. When I went out to like for base leg, I went out over the sea. I thought to myself, Jesus Christ! I know Danny said this stops when he pulled the throttle back, but I am really stopped. Then I realised flaps had gone to full forty. Right. And yeah. that does slow them up. Having said that, they're a doddle land. Yeah. I always find it fairly interesting there when you do that base leg over the sea how you, you know, the normal references of fields with other patterns yeah, you, suddenly, you suddenly lose all that, don't did you? Did you notice that I came in too far to the right? No Yeah, I, I, I overshot the um, extended centre line yeah. by quite a bit I was surprised there was quite a you know, I was being affected by quite a strong crosswind. Well, not strong crosswind, but it was having quite an effect. Get out of the way, pheasant. Two, two pheasants. All right, I'm, I'm neglecting my duties. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Had me hand with Formation of birds coming the other way. Quite high, but... Okay, you'd better call it a day there, rather than get too close to the stones. Suck them in, wouldn't it? Yeah. 